Hello everyone and welcome back to more for the 2023 Imperium Cup. But in Imperium and the Rise of Ex Expansions, we host and commentate the Black Shadow. We continue our coverage of the group stages. Today we have a look at Group E, players mainly from North America. Uh, and here is a look at the standings. Now, this one isn't quite as far as some of the other groups, to be fair. I'm not going to complain. My group is kind of the same as well. Uh, but it's quite an interesting little group, actually. Five games fade, uh, five separate winners means that the points have been pretty well spread across. Everyone has played two matches so far, so everyone's got a, a game in the bank here. And today's Game 6 will be featuring uh, Care 1789, Red Rufus, Cutman Beck, and Breestown. So looking generally at the table, uh, Hizia and Puki top it with a win in a second place, but it is all very, very marginal. Uh, everyone's in striking distance of each other, realistically, and it means that uh, with the points up for grab, there is a ton still to fight for. Uh, Care and Red Rufus uh, trail as the other two group winners, but ending up second place. So uh, they want to get a hold of a decent result here to give themselves a good chance of trying to make a top two finish uh, before the end of the group. So a lot of work here to be done. Carmen Beck has only scored 10 from his first two games, which is not ideal and does mean that he is trailing the pack. But again, it's very kind of almost fortunate the fact that uh, this table is wide open. So if he can somehow come and win this game, he'll be right into the top half of the table uh, and really fighting for a chance into the next round. Again, with it so tight, there's uh, it's really hard to call anyone as a favorite here so far. And then we have Breezetown, who was one of the players that visited the North Carolina Uprising Invitational. Um, it was really nice to meet them, by the way. And uh, I was speaking to them at the event. And they did say that somehow and amongst all the time we've been, I've been doing like doing Imperium content stuff, uh, apparently we've never played in a match together. And I've never commented in a game that they have played in. So I figured uh, I could at least rectify one of those situations. I'm going to be covering this match. This is our second attempt for this game as well. I was meant to cover it like about a week ago, but it got cancelled. So what are you going to do? With uh, four points from the two games, you know, far from lost here, but uh, we'll need to be avoiding a, a poor result here. If we can finish even second place, uh, seven points of the game to go, given how wide open this group is, I think you'd be reasonably happy with the situation. But anything less, and it starts getting harder and harder in that final match. All right, so I guess I was ready for the game. Care here is first up, which means it is Bowl, which is Red Rufus uh, playing for the match. Uh, it is a game of first up. Is it the first game I get to cover from Bree? Uh, Breeze Town, I should say. Uh, and I hope they're looking forward to it. Uh, the get reason the game got uh, cancelled last night is because of Care, who is a new father. Um, his time of organising the game was spent, um, you know, with his wife giving birth to their first child. So congratulations to Care. Uh, hope all things go well, and I hope the spice most certainly flows for them. <laughs> Anyways, gonna have a look at the match. I'm not. I'm not suggesting drug use anyway, anything like that. Oh gosh, no. Melanges. It's a special kind of stuff, you know. Anyways, uh, let's look at cards here. Uh, so Talaxiru first up. Uh, two very decent cards actually. I quite like these. Two very good enablers. Uh, Size of it breakthrough. Very very nice. You can get to the end of the track. You can use it and trash it for a point. Pretty solid early. Face dancer I think is one of my favourite Talaxiru cards in the game and the initiate as well. Um, being able to hit factions grafting straight away with like your experimentation stuff is really good really really fun card do like it the imperium row is cooked there is some crazy stuff here quizat tadarak appears on the opening row which means i suspect he's probably not getting bought someone's probably gonna rip the row which is very very sad uh but some other good stuff here lisan al gaib uh is pretty solid getting that spice uh other benefits play you get some some uh some uh, from in bumps, there's definitely that. Truth Say is solid. Smuggler's Fox is good. Guild Chief Admin is good. So a pretty solid row here. And as far as our techs as well, Spike Satellites sticks out here. Very, very strong tech in a group's the format. Hot Projectors is pretty solid. Pretty good for some leaders as well. And Spaceports eh, is not the most light tech in the game. Uh, but still have some good uses in a pinch. As far as our leaders are concerned, there's a lot of missing people here. Beast, I suspect we get picked first. But no Ilbarn, no Tezia, no Baron. Uh, so people are going to have to kind of make this work as they go. But I think this could be a, a fun little game. All right, off you go. So you would expect Beast to get picked in fourth position. I do think Beast is actually pretty solid in fourth as well. Obviously, he's a good leader. Uh, but being able to threaten first round your brutality in your ring and no one has any idea if you've got it is, is really, really powerful and can get you some stuff real cheap. can be really, really cool. Uh, Carmen Beck's going to have an interesting... I suspect he'll probably take Hundro. Hundro's regard is probably the best leader out there. Third isn't his best spot. 
Uh, people like taking them first. So they can kind of like get a, a jump on shipping, try to um, get a jump on some bits and pieces. But you might just take them a third anyway. You could also go maybe like pull the trades for a load of card draw, go and face dancer, scientific breakthrough. I don't hate that. Maybe even Yuna. But we see Countess Ariana Chosen off beach shenanigans are approaching. So Hundro for Karen first. Didn't take long there. You think Breeze? I don't know. I think going to go Yuna does indeed go Yuna. Okay, so let's see what we got here for Hundro. Choice of Disguise, Bureaucrat, or Counterattack. I suppose you'll take Counterattack here early on. Disguise is okay. But the problem is it takes time to get active for a while. It's just kind of not really doing anything. So I suspect we'll see Counterattack. Having those four swords is nice. The problem is that someone's got to play an entry card at you, and that could take a little while. But even just, just deploying those, four, those two troops early to ambush a combat can be pretty darn solid. Uh, but yeah, this should be interesting. Ariana Chosen in third position by Cartman. We'll have to see how that goes. Not seen a lot of Ariana in this tournament. She's she's not easy to play, truthfully. Here we go then. So first up is the Victory Point Skirmish here. All rewards pretty decent. Be happy with those. See the opening draws are. Hundro has no faction access, but he won't be too upset by that. Yuna's got a little bit of everything. Ariana has got two experimentations, two daggers. So bear in mind of Ariana, whenever she mines, uh, or harvests, I, should, I always call it mining, she gains one less from the space but draws a card. So it's an interesting way of kind of getting around that. And I suspect we might see Ariana just like hit Basin immediately, just a card draw and put some troops in. Beast hasn't drawn great. Seek allies, and that's about it here. So not ideal. A couple of tricky opening hands here. You will be happy just to go fold space, get some dudes in, and then start shipping next round, it looks like. The question will be, how quickly does she get cut off? We'll have to see. So, Ariana, I do like the idea of going mining. Harvesting. I'm gonna... It's just gonna happen all, all game face. You're gonna have to accept this. I'm sorry. Might even go Hagga Basin to actually get a spice going. And does. Finds the signet ring. Very nice. Gets the gets the water. Pretty cool. Experimentation going. If I do seem like I'm ever so slightly pulling for Breeze Town this game, uh, I am maybe slightly partial. Uh, she made these um, uh, really awesome, like, doom-inspired, like, chocolates and uh, pretzels and stuff like that. Really, really cool stuff. I've still got some of mine. Uh, I don't know if they're really edible anymore at this point. Probably not. I should probably chuck them. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they were really, really nice. So, uh, slightly partial. Beast just fires in Hardy Warriors. Wow. Is Beast just... Now, you do see sometimes people in full position, if they can get Hardy, they look to Hardy Warrior and then just reveal immediately. I don't know if we'll see that or not. We'll see. I drove his ring. He's going to have to go Imperial Basin. He's not unhappy about this. If Yuna wants any piece of this conflict, she's got to go Carfag. She's got five Persuasion. So, Hundro gets hold of the money instantly. But the problem is he's got both his daggers in hand, which makes this really awkward. So, even if he goes wealth next round, he cannot get to Swordmaster right away. Yuna's just going to go tech negotiation. I don't hate this. Beast has no moves. Well, Beast could Mentat. Looking for his ring or Diplo. Or even Recon. I don't know if he will or not. So Carfe gets the intrigue that uh, Hundro had, puts it all in with both daggers. So interestingly, what Beast is going to do, Beast can't feel too good about this. He might feel he's got a Mentat to try and get this victory point and try to try to find Arakeen or Diplo to Steel Suits, but Diplo to Steel Suits don't feel too great either. Tricky spot here early for Bull. Could reveal, but is there anything like you're desperate to get hold of on this row? I don't think so. I mean, I would argue like every card you find is fine. Even if you find the experimentation that gives you access to face dancer, in theory, if no one else gets it first round, and you can just grab that and you have so much faction access coming in the next couple of rounds. I don't hate daggering. I think daggering is totally fine. But revealing is also okay. It depends how you see it. 
Problem is, four troops for a war doesn't feel great. If you find Recon, you're committed to Arakeen. If you find Ring, you're committed to Arakeen. Uh, if you find your other dagger, that sucks. That really sucks. If you find your experimentation, I mean, that's not great either. So there's two good cards. There's one that's not great, and there's one that's really bad. You would not want to find your other dagger here. Tricky spot here for Red Rufus. I do not envy this. This is a really tough early position. First round, straight into the quagmire. Ariana putting it, and he, he must feel he's not good here. When she puts in two troops like that, she's got to feel that he's going to be behind. You could opt to Atomics and see what the row is. And if there's a really good four or five coster, that makes revealing a bit nicer. But then if you reveal and turn up not a lot, then your Atomics is being kind of like wasted. So that is a problem. He is going to reveal and sacks and, and gives up on the conflict here. And just takes Guild Chief Admin for the shipping. Like I said, I don't hate this move. It's a bit of a horrible spot B's got put in. I do not envy this at all. I think he's a little bit unlucky, truthfully. Um, but that's the way it goes. Ariana, <laughs> the higher base experimentation, pulling Carfag access and just barreling it in. Wasn't expecting a victory point, but Cartman will get it early. Andro with a couple of swords. I don't see how he ever plays counterattack here. He's going to buy a liaison. Call it a day. I'm really curious to know what Beast's next card was going to be. Should we have a look, kids? It was an experimentation. <laughs> I don't want to be results orientated, but he'll be glad he didn't go mentor, I guess. I mean, Feast Dancer first would have been nice, but. Yeah, I guess three cards would have been really good to find. One okay and one really bad. Oh, the Salax Master. Oh, if Beast had ripped the row of Atomics, he could have gotten TM. Ugh. Breeze is considering ripping the row here, but figures it's unlikely that Ariana has five persuasion. Uh, and she is indeed right. Three swords. Two swords and three good here. So yeah, tough spot for Bowl. Yeah, I wouldn't have mind. I would have suggested before revealing, I would have hit the row first to see if there really was anything really good worth buying. The answer is it would have been. But Guild Chief Admin is totally fine. So TM, <laughs> the Talaxu Master, and Quiz has Hadarak on the row here. My god, there's no way this row is going to survive. Ariana might blow the row for free and gamble. And she does! Oh, but it's a bad row for free. There's nothing. At least in the previous one, you had uh, G manipulation. Cartman gambles, just buys Missionaria, so he's gonna pick up, look to pick up some Bene Gesserit. Hope some turns up here, but uh, not an ideal spot. Ariana gets the point at least. Beast gets his water back, but won't feel too happy about the situation. A little bit unlucky, perhaps, and we will move on to the next round. Should be an interesting game this as well, actually. Like, I have commentated on some games where with people that have played like a lot of Doom, like a lot of Doom Imperium. Uh, you know, this is gonna be so much. I think this will be a, probably a pretty, pretty laid back sort of game. Um, you know, I don't think the players it like, you know, especially with the group as well, it's in kind of an open spot. The pressure will be on these players to try and perform well. Um, but you know. I'm not gonna be like I don't think we like hyper hyper critical it's like, oh they must find this new shame move. Like, you know, people are gonna miss stuff, so. Could be in for a little while though, so I would say get comfy, get the blanket, put on a put on a hot cup or something, and uh, you know, sit back and relax. Desert power is up next. Victory points in the conflict, more of them. It's a really good round two conflict, by the way. It's just saying, go Harley Warriors, please go Harley Warriors. Ariana with both faction accesses, I think, has to hit Harley Warriors immediately. It's about who goes first. Although she's got no garrison. Oh, it feels bad, though. Ooh. Go still suits. Interesting. So is eyeing up. Great flat round three here. B 
Beast is up. Beast has got his ring in Diplo. He might just barrel it in at Carfag. And I don't hate that. Hundra's in a kind of a weird spot here. Hundra will be... I mean, Hundra wants to win this conflict he can with counterattack and stuff here. So Beast is just going to go smuggling here. I, I think this is actually a reasonable move. Uh, part of the reason is he's got Guild Chief Admin. So he's hoping that next round he finds Guild Chief Admin so he can reveal it. Uh, and get uh, cash in smuggling is basically the plan here. Uh, which I don't hate. That gets him Swordmaster round four. Which looks pretty good to me. Once on a blue moon he gets there beforehand. But with Hundra at six Solari you wouldn't expect it particularly. You'd expect Hundra will get... Will probably just play wealth to set up for Swordmaster uh, next round. But it's kind of weird. Hundra also wants to go Hardy Warriors here. And he should know that Beast ha Beast will have his access cards. So maybe he goes Hardy Warriors first and just bows it in. Beast has used his ring as well. So the problem with that, yeah, I think that's why Hardy Warriors. I think this is a good move. Beast has used his ring here. So you can just chuck in three or four dudes and be pretty happy with the situation. He'll chuck in all four, which is reasonable. And you'd feel that you're going to... You can then just dip low to wealth, maybe secrets... If someone goes well first. I don't know where Ariana's going. I think Ariana might go well. We'll see what happens. Could be interesting. So obviously Yuna begins the shipping. She could go up and down. But it only gets her the 7 Solari. So she won't bother. Ooh. Ariana's eyeing up more Carfag. But I really think... Oh, not using... Oh, it's going research station. Wow. I don't know if I like the research station uh, a lot of the time. With Seek Allies in your hand, you're going to struggle to buy very much. Poor Signet Ring as well. It's, it's kind of bad. Next hand is going to be pretty abysmal, but it's after Scientific Breakthrough. That's entirely what Ariana's doing here. Hence the bump up. Going for Scientific for the end points, but with no troops and Seek Allies in your hand, I don't know. I think that's a bit of an overstretch. I would probably have just picked it up next round. Beast is going to get to limp in at Imperial Base and not even worry about the Diplo here. Just limp in for a warrior and a troop. And this is this is, this is is a this is a fun old spot now. I don't hate Ariana doing this for Scientific Breakthrough, but I don't know if it's worth the cost. Especially if Seek Allies in hand as well. I feel like you'd better off just playing that to something. To Welve, to Secrets. Hundro gets a free trip to wealth here. Absolute result this for Hundro. He's got a battle victory point. He gets Swordmaster next round. He's first to it. Feels pretty good. I'd be pretty happy with the situation. So, reveals. Yuna's going to reveal for a couple. Does she take face to answer? The question is, who takes it first? I think Yuna should consider it. But the thing is, Yuna's fold space twice. So she doesn't really need to. She could opt to hold on to it. So figure scientific is going to get bought. Face Dance is fine to take, but the point is you've got a lot of faction access with all those Fold Space cards. But opts to take it. I don't hate it. It's fine. So Mr. Mentat comes out next. Good card. Expensive, though. So, Ariana reveals for four. Yeah, revealing the ring as well. That hurts. So next hand is going to be, what, Convincing Dagger, Double Dune. Oof. Next hand is going to really hurt. Takes landing rights. Size of it as noted. Sleep Farmer turns up. Hmm. It's a cool little card for Beast, actually, that. I don't hate it. Getting those Beatles can occasionally be a bit difficult as Beast, because you've got other cards you want to be using, so... There can be a way around it. I don't hate the pick. Couple to buy. Might grab a liaison as well. I don't hate Slick Farmer. You don't have to take it, but I think I think I would. It also means as well that in theory it gives you more ways of getting hold of Swordmaster next round. Or in round four. It does make it slightly less likely you're gonna find uh Guild Ambassador, but even it's still not great odds. Uh Hunter Up Four is gonna rip it. Oh no. Firm grip, voice, surgeon, plank. This is ridiculous. What a hand. Wow. Asking you shall receive.
Every single eight coster in the game has come out in the first two rounds. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Let's just get Lady J in, um, you know, get Gurney Halleck, and I think we'll be pretty much uh, good to go for the rest of this match. That's crazy. And TM turned up as well. Cheap second place for Red Rufus. He'll be fairly happy enough. Point and Sword Master Gun for Hundra will be very happy as well. We'll move on here. Ariana in a... She's got what she wanted, Seismic Breakthrough, but now you're going to have a pretty, pretty rough hand here. Yep, yeah, that's your hand. Ariana in a spot of trouble here. What do you do? Do you just go smuggle Mentat? Your hand's that bad. I think you have to use an experiment. Oh, of course, you can also just go mining Imperial Basin, but... When you's, there's no spice to gain. I think I prefer doing this and going Menta. I honestly think this is a better move. <laughs> I think it has to bump up here. Gets a beetle. It also gets Disguised Bureaucrat active as well, which I think is important. So he's now got that spice on hand. Needed. And whenever you need it, snipe protect. Hit a faction space, that sort of thing. It's there. Oh, Beast is going to take Menta. Or oh, is he going to spice satellites? He is going Spice Satellites. Okay, don't hate it. Spice Satellites, I think, in group format, I think it's very important. It's good good to have those points. So we'll take it. Especially considering his faction access is not great. Face Dancer is gone. No fold spaces. So I think that uh, takes some pressure off there. Also, he's going to have a really big reveal coming as well. So I like the move. Looks good to me. Hundro's up. I guess 100 just goes Hagger Basin? Carfax, the combat, by the way. More victory points here. Wow. Three in a row. I feel like Carfax's fine. Might also opt for, like, uh, Car. Yeah. Carfax's fine. Hagger Basin's fine. I don't hate it. So, fresh intrigues now. No. Oh, what is that? Urgent recall found. Ur urgent mission. It's one of the better intrigues in the game. Just just take an agent back, have another action, you know. Easy to like. I mean, you like, you know, you like Quizzet's hat rack, don't you? So Yuna's up. I think we'll be combining this with the face du Oh, no. Ooh, okay. I would have been surprised to see, actually, with the face dancer, just a card draw here. But okay, goes up and down. Oh, hold on. But then how are you going to get hold of... Oh, she's got the negotiator. My apologies. All right, I like it from Yuna then. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I've missed the negotiator. But it's a solid move. So obviously cash is up for later. It does mean that she can like hollow project out the fold space card. Looking to obviously use face dance and experimentation. This is what face dance is great for. It just enables like experimentation and such. It can be a bit tricky to use sometimes. It just lets you just bang them in, uh, which is really, really awesome. So, uh, and, like, being able to hollow project out fold space so you actually get something out of the reveal means you can save that for later on as well. Because you want to be using face dancer here, no doubt. So, uh, you know, I like Yuna's deck so far. It's looking good. We do see the Mentat move. I think this is the right way to play this. Can he find anything good? Ah, that'll do. It's faction access. Better than a kick in the teeth. I'll be happy enough with that. Beast off to our Arakeen. Ooh, hurts not to use. He's a bit worried about. He's after Chon directorship. He's got six persuasion. But what if someone rips the row? Oh, he gets to eight. And he finds Guild Chief Admin as well. So it's a huge result, whatever happens here. Wow. So, does Green rip the row? Out of protection for Choam De Choam Delegate. It's kind of weird. So Choam Choam Directorship is like a great card, but Beast just took Spice Satellites. <laughs> but it means that he's halfway towards just hard trashing it, and I'd be totally fine with that as Beast. Swordmaster taken. I don't know if Yuna does. I am not sure if Yuna rips the rope. Or maybe Beast just goes occupation. Man, round three beast on occup round three occupation on beast is very scary. Don't see occupation get bought very much. Uh, but it's a very, very cool card. Getting the free troop being able to like go anywhere on the map and turn it into fa Ooh. 
Oh, Yuna's just after all the card draw. What are you doing? Going wealth? Oh my god, so Yuna's after Choam! <laughs> so Yuna's after Choam as well! Three cards drawn, four, five. Remember, gets hollow projectors, so the dagger can be redrawn. Uh, three cards. Face Dancer, that, and Arakane. Seven! Wow. So Hollow Projector and hoping to pick up another Persuasion. There is still a dagger in there. But everything else, I think, is a Persuasion. Interesting. Beast has his own Atomics, by the way. He might grab them and rip the row. I'm curious to see how this is going to go down. Did it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I do apologize. Yeah, it would have done when you hit Arakeen space. That's fair. I apologize. No, that is right. No, I misread that. It's a bit late for me. It's about like half 12. I, this is not the first game I've commentated today. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, I try and watch over them. Too bad they get it right. No, that one. That one I was wrong. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, that was fair. So Yuna only with five then. Oof. That being the case, maybe it wasn't worth punting for it. Ariana just still suits again. No troops in. Beast has eight. What on earth does the beast take here? I feel like he's just going to go occupation. But occupation's a card that's great to visit somewhere that's not the Fremen. Because all the Fremen's already already battle spaces. So it's great for, like, hitting, like, Emperor or Bene Gesserit. But I guess he's got Spy Satellite, so why take Tron Directorship? Yeah. <laughs> what is this row? Oh, my God. This row is n insane. Quizzes Hadarat, Leak Kind, Occupation, Tron Directorship, Firm Grip... Talaxu Surgeon. We literally just need Lady Jessica. It's basically a top 10 list at this point. What in the blue hell? Beast ready for his Swordmaster. Amazing. Amazing row. Beast has got four. I tell you what. As the Beast, I legitimately would have considered taking Twisted Mentat because he got Occupation. That is a gnarly combination, but Slick Farmer can't be bad. Well, Hundro is going to get to Hagger Basin, and then what does Yuna do here? Yuna has five persuasion. What do you take? Firm grip? Leak kinds? You can't get to show them. It's out of your price range. I guess you shuffle out. Doesn't bother. Two swords. Will not be able to win the conflict, unfortunately. Hundro will beat, um, will, ooh, Hundro can't get the, uh, Hundro can't win the fight either. He's got no way of getting more troops. Takes firm grip, Lee, it kind's left. Man. So I guess Hundro's just gonna keep hold of it. He needs to get hold of, try and get hold of shipping in a couple of rounds is what I think is what he wants. Ariana with five persuasion gets Lee, it kind's. What? What? What is happening? Oh, he does urgent mission right away! Wow! Wow, wow. I think he's trying to hunt for the intrigue to try and win the conflict. Strategic push is no good. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Was that worth it? Maybe not. The counterattack cannot be used because it's an opponent playing it. So it's going to be just a pass here. You're going to have to live with the spice. It's another intrigue. To be fair, it's a nice spot for Hundro. He's got three intrigues. No one else has any, which is a very strong position to be in later on. But Breeze Down gets the point here. Talaxi Puppet found for Hundro. 
I don't know how often he gets the High Council seat, but we'll see. Massive cards on the row. There's two Atomic still. Chandra was just staring one in the face. There could be a bit of a game of chicken appear here. Four combat victory points in a row. And Beast hasn't won any of them. So has gone to everyone else. Arakeen is next. Might want to draw your hand first, Beast, so you can find the uh, your access. Uh, dagger it is. And then use Diplo and Ring. Looks good to me. Is there any way for Hundro to get access to shipping in time for next round? I don't think so. Does he just select his breed here? Mm, Arakeen first. So the answer to that is a resounding no. He wanted the Talaxi Surgeon. Now, is anyone going to go wealth and force him to conspire? I don't think he wants to conspire, truthfully. Someone going wealth would be pretty brutal. If Yuna goes wealth here, it's a savage move. Like, really sickening. Really nasty move, but I'd love to see it. No, he's just gonna go. Just gonna dominate shipping here. Bit of a shame. Doesn't use the ring. Oh, I guess. Why don't you use the ring there? Like you cost you seven. You're down to three, but then you just cash in shipping and get your money back. Would have been using that for a bump, most certainly. Ariana hits seat with scientific. So obviously, looking to race this track as fast as possible. We have an issue with doing instead of shipping like this is it's kind of like, I don't know, it feels a bit passive to me. Like, you can instead of ship and then threaten the conflict. Obviously, you're not really threatening the conflict because obviously Beast has got, like, two actions and stuff. But, you know. Well, Beast can't hardly worry. He's got no water, but he can definitely go steel suits and definitely should go steel suits here. Yuna just deciding she's just not going to have any part of this. The money would have been good for her as well. If you're going to go smuggling, doing it that way, I would definitely have used my ring. Uh, and use it to get... And what you do is use it to get the Emperor Alliance. And you just get your money back. Like, you basically, you're, it's it's a free ring. I think Yuna's missed a trick there. She must have high ha high council plans. The only thing makes sense. Hundro does get to wealth with Taxi Surgeon. Spice claimed. Is he considering Highliner? Highliner with intentions of going great flat next round? Mentat for Yuna. Wow. Okay. Ariana had the access. So gets the five spice. Water back. Finds landing rights. That was not what she was looking for. It's an unfortunate draw. No doubt about that. So Beast is going to be uncomfortable. I think Beast has to go Carfag and reassess the situation. What do you pull here? Looks very scary. Hundro. <laughs> well, Beast finds plans within plans and he's got spy satellites and turn down Chone Directorship. Oh my God. If he'd taken Chone Directorship, he could just trash spy satellites and make so many points here. That's a little unlucky. I don't hate if Beast doesn't deploy anything here. If Hunter is going in at Highliner, he's going in at Highliner. I don't think this accomplishes a lot. I know you're basically charging a price for Hunter, but if he's going in, he's going in. And the problem is, is that if he wants to win this fight, he almost certainly can. That is wild. Is Yuna trying to fluke her way to Chrome Dreadship here? Here is the high line. So, bad news for the beast here. This is all going in. That's why I didn't like putting it all in there. You're only really ever sending troops to, to their slaughter. 
Yeah, I guess you charge a price for Hundro. I don't hate that. If you put it all in, then you know you feel it makes you feel a bit better about your life. You put everything in, so. I do think Yuna is trying to somehow hunt for her convincing argument here. I don't see how she ever get she has eight persuasion though. We'll see what happens here. So more garrisoning. The money taken. Yeah, see, that's why you should have just you to use the ring. And you got like so much money. Like, I don't even know what you're doing half of this. I know you're doing half of it, but you know what I mean. Might not draw. Six persuasion. Mm. How many cards you got in your deck? Thirteen. Hmm. Ariana with five. No atomics. It's not a great row. I would like to see playing coupling personally. Ghost Court Intrigue. I don't hate that for the faction access. I think playing coupling is good. No, Ghost Space Travel so is threatening Highliners of her own. Cartman is arming up. Beast be free. Does he go plan coupling? Rose not very good. But plan coupling is just solid graft access. It can't be bad. You don't we want atomics the rowing give good cards to your opponents here is the problem. You've got plans within plans, but you got spy satellites. Oh, he's gonna run. What are you looking for? Oh my god. Guild Bankers turns up. Benny Talaxia researcher. Appropriate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are some scouts and scarred of car infantry in this deck. I, I'm sure I put them in. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Guild Bankers makes the most sense. Hundro also with three. But no. He does have a fork with Talaxu Puppet. And you know what? He might use it right now to get Benny Talax a researcher. I can definitely see that happening. And I don't hate that happening either. And I think that's what we're going to see here. That was a bit laggy. So, Puppet's going to be taken and used to get Talax a researcher. Yep, it's a, so it's a decent card. Unit has six. Doesn't want to um, holo project out, recon. Is a bit worried about what she might peel off. Treachery is also just good enough here. Ooh. If she'd gone appropriate, she could have got shown delegate, but it's not a big deal. No one's challenging her for, for shipping currently. So, nothing to be done here. Beast gets four troops for four Solari. Doesn't feel great. But with Guild Bankers in hand, High Council now is definitely an option. Hundo's just going to throw off a uh, strategic push, so that'll make Beast feel a little bit happy about life. A couple of coins for Ariana. Ariana still needs to find her Swordmaster, by the way. I'm going to move on here. This is not good, though, for Bowl. Four combats, four combat victory points has not secured any of them. This is trouble for Red Rufus. Next up, well, finally, there's no conflict. There's, there's only so many victory points in the conflict. Uh, we could have had the whole lot, though. Imperial Basin and um, uh, the one that gives you a trash, whatever it's called. You know the one I'm thinking of. Anyways, Cloak and Dagger is up here. Bump and the Intrigues. Everyone could use a piece of this. Ariana does not draw good. Hang a Basin taken from Hundro here. Diplo in hand. I'm just going to be feeling pretty good about this situation. Yuna's not going to be that unhappy either. Like, just flat out as much shipping as you could ever want here. I'd like to see experimentation with Face Dancer. Because you've got Diplo and you've got Truth Sayer anyways, and you're going to be using them for sure. So I, I would like to see experimentation combined with Face Dancer. I, I don't like using Face Dancer like, like that just for a card draw. I'd rather send to a faction, but... You know, I'd say given the situation. You could also just hollow project out your dagger and see what you find. You might do something else first, though. 
But I think she'll just go shipping him and work it out. Yep. You would feel bad. Oh. Just continuing to ship here. Yuna, is, this is too passive. This is too passive. I don't like this. You've got a really, really cool deck. And she's not drawn the access. I assume the other card must be more smuggling. But you've got such a good deck with so many cool cards. It's also kind of cruel constantly blocking Ariana on shipping. It's kind of rude. I think Ariana just has to go Mentat out here, truthfully. With this hand, I think I would just go Mentat. If you're being denied Swordmaster, I'd hit Mentat myself. Gonna go Basin to do the draw instead. Hello. And if Yuna's not getting involved in the conflict, this is one for you. This is a great opportunity for um, Space Travel Highline. Get it in here. Real good opportunity for it. Beast with three actions. It's a difficult hand, though. Not much value for Slick Farmer here. Experimentations can't go anywhere. Does Beast just meant at Slick Farmer experimentation? I don't hate the move. I'd probably like bump up and trash like your dagger. But you might just go Arakeen first though. Go Siege. What's the great flat spice? Beast is going to get this in. Beast is getting this in. Wow, this is aggressive. I don't know if he needs to be this attacking on Cloak and Dagger. He's got Spice Satellites. I mean, he needs to get a Fat Alliance going ASAP, to be fair. So he actually does need this. But I think this is... I don't know. I'd say this is a little bit too aggressive here. When Ariana's sitting on that much Spice, like, if she highlines and just bows it in, like, how are you going to get more dudes in? That is the concern. Yuna's kind of telegraphing that she's not... The problem with Yuna is every time she smuggles, she's telegraphing she's not going to get involved in the conflict. So I think you can just, like, limp a dude in and kind of reassess, see if Hundro's going to get involved or not. I mean, you're not really going to know. Hundro's got to like, get some garrison going, probably, but... And honestly, I just prefer going Mentat here as Beast. Or High Council. Yeah, high council is tricky. Depends what you want to do, Slick Farm. Are you looking for loads of money? Or you just want to cash in for the Beatles? Like, do you intend to go high council this game? I don't know. Pazin Plans is never going to do anything for him this game either. It's just a dead intrigue. He knows that no one else has it, which is, you know, in itself good news. But this is a very low faction game. I mean, this is what, round five? And we've got one, two, we've got four friendships out of 16. Make it five. It's still pretty low, though, for this stage in the game. I know we've not got any particularly faction hair likes heavy leaders, but Yuna's, like, got a really faction-heavy deck in her ring and could be absolutely bombing these tracks and is opting just to ship. That's the thing, your deck's so good. Like, don't worry about smuggling and, like, cutting off Ariana. Just... Interstellar ship and start jamming factions. Get those bumps going. Just a little too negative for this, personally. You know, when you've got the cards and you've got the access, you know, use it. Use it and abuse it. I think I would just use Truthsayer, personally, here, and then just holo project and, and use that as a holo projection for your dagger and get it out of there. Unless you're going to go Mentat first, and that's fine. There's Firm Grip. I think that's what she was looking for. And she's going to be able to get this off here. And make profit of wealth. It's so wild. So Ariana has a decision. Do you just highline and put this in? I think it's tough. But I think you just got to close your eyes and do it. Hundro's kind of running away at this game. High Council is also fine. It's Spice Must Flow. Wait for another conflict here. 
I don't hate this move either. So Beast, going to go great flat here. Just picking up the spice and calling it a day. Surely the other experimentation is going to use a Slick Farmer here. Is he going Tex? Is he going Training Drones? Might be. He's just talents is found. Yeah, it's not bad. He's about to get a few more swords on that. Hundro is going to have to go. Sh is going shipping here. Yuna obviously gives that up. So Yuna is going to go Swordmaster and then I assume just hit Wealth. Does not have to use the Hollow Projection on Truth Say, and I honestly wouldn't use it here. Like, you've got a lot of good cards that you want to be seeing. So I would just Swordmaster and just uh, not worry. I mean, you have Hollow Projectors, I guess. I'd get rid of your Diplo. If you know you're going well, like, get rid of the Diplo. Get the High Persuasion cards in. Hmm. Player's saying, you don't have hollow projectors, and uh, it's true, she hasn't used it yet. So Ariana's just going to take the Spice Must Flow. I don't hate it. Yuna's in a really weird spot here now. Like, does Yuna actually go Wealth here, or do you go Carfag and, like, pull up two Intrigues? And a Spice for, like, a troop. Chum Delegate found. Mm, a bit awkward. Also, and obviously the long the spice was flow with the ten. So Beast is going, I assume, tech negotiation. Oh, I would have minded seeing him go dreadnoughting. Actually. I think I actually would have preferred him going dreadnoughting to do this. But he wants to save the money so he can get a beetle bump, so he can get his Talaxi point going. So I don't hate doing it this way. Does get a coin for Slig Farmer, though. Y you do get plus one coin as well. I don't think these, uh, he's realised. There we go. So, training drones... You know, pretty nice tech. It's round five, which is slightly late, but just being able to just pass regenerate those troops when you're like beast, really good. So, gets the coin. Gets to garrison the troop. And I think should definitely be paying these five for the beetle bump here. You know, just just keep your garrison going, keep it floated. You know, Yuna's obviously looking to get in eventually here. Declines. Mm. Interesting. Doesn't fancy going for the second Talaxi point then, I guess. I don't know. I think I want to just maybe he is considering some high council. It's the only thing I can think of. Andre with a couple, not involved. Yuna has an action. And he's just going to go wealth here. Can't be bad. I would be concerned about using Hollow Projector. The only issue with that is that I'd be concerned about finding my ring. And two will be spent just to get some bumps going. Yuna needs to get the factions rocking and rolling here. Especially considering the Emperor Alliance is not going to be attainable. Considering Tatsu Surgeons and Red's Hands. There's not much you can do about that, so. Beast with a couple. Rose kind of quiet. I mean, you could buy a liaison, I guess. You've already bought one. And you've not trashed anything. So I would probably just not bother. You could also go Guild Administrator just for... you got Spy Satellites, though. You don't really care. Yeah, just don't buy anything. I guess that's fine. And you not with a couple. Choosing not to hollow project. I think we'll also not worry about it. Considering like uh, deck size. 14 cards. The problem is. Is like she'd like to get like a natural reflexes. The problem is. Is she can't top deck it. Because she's not far enough. 
So Beast wins this uncontested. Which is pretty awesome. Beast is considering using Vicious Talents to not get plans within plans stolen. Harvest Cells is found. That is immediately usable. I don't know if he knows that. I can't tell him that. Blackmail, also, that's a great card for him. Because he's got spy satellites. Harvest Cells can be used immediately. Just like uh, Demand Respect to the Victor. Yep. So, it gets a little fortunate there. So, we'll get a couple of specimens for his troubles. Uh, and has the option to buy something as well. Wow. Does Beast consider taking Twisted Ment out here? I don't know be interesting to see him decide to do so he's got a lot of good cards coming potentially he's thinking about it i think i would rather take on natural reflexes personally speaking because you've got guild bankers and you need to try and find a way to to fund that so i would be going on natural reflexes personally but opts for twisted mentat instead which you know is i don't hate it I don't hate it. This could get pretty wild here. So he's going to try and use Action Economy as his way to get about. Like, Beast has, Beast has uh, only got one point in this game. This is pretty wild. Round six, ill is sort through the chaos. Mm. So it's interesting when this comes up really early, its value is pretty good. But now that it's late game, like round six, this could be a bit of a track combat. People sometimes get suckered in, throwing in way too much for this. Ariana has no money. So Yuna's now forced to go inside the shipping because of Hundro. So I won't be messing about anymore here. Ring coming. I would def oh wow I've just seen the uh Yuna's hand by the way. Has to take the has to use the rain to get the spice to get another card draw. I suppose you've also got hollow projectors. This garrison is loading up here. Gotta get this offloaded. Yep, take the cash. Turn it into use your ring. Get cool arms going. Cool arms is such a cool ability, you know. It's it's not pricey, seven slow, but she makes money easy. You know, wild bump, troop and a, and a spice is, is good stuff here. So just looking to secure these friendships, I think that's totally good. But eight troops in the garrison, and with three specimens. I didn't spend them. Makes this kind of awkward for Yuna here. Could have some, some interesting stuff about to happen. This could get really, really awkward for her. Ariana up. It's not enough money, unfortunately. You're kind of hoping Hondro somehow takes cash here, but I don't see how he ever does. Man, Ariana's hand is 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 so good here. It's 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 kind of unfortunate she's only got the one action. Mm, could bump down. Oh, it is gonna trash disguised. Oh, but you're so close to the wild bump at this point. Yeah, I would I would I would reconsider just take the the flat entry. If you want to go back, there's a there's an arrow here. I think that's what Yo wants to do. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Keep all the disguise and just get it. Just get a new one. You were gonna get it anyways. Hello. Wow, that's really awkward though, because she's got no swordmaster. But she has high council. Mmm. Most interesting. Beast has twisted mentat, and to me, he should be. I think I'd go Talaxu Master experimentation mentat. Just Talaxi Master, just Mentat. Just Mentat is awesome for going to the Mentat spot. It gives you four actions. Um, all right, if you are maybe slightly subject to card draw occasionally, that is the concern. But obviously, he wants to secure this alliance first, which I can't hate. Unfortunately, it doesn't turn into a double combat space. You only get the card draw from it, so you lose a bit of value here. I don't think I'd bother putting any troops in, truthfully. Like, what are you doing with the cash here? Needs to draw a card for occupation. So, surgeon for 
Surgeon and Benny Slats are researcher for Hundro, who is just accumulating points and is just he's he's starting to power ahead here. Is Hundro? I think there's uh, there's some real problems here. Emperor Alliance taken. Double cross also found. This is starting to look really good for Hundro now. If he can just get himself set up for next round. It's going to be difficult though. Ariana like could highlight at any moment. Object is from Yuna. Oh, treachery found. Ooh. Well, you can't get that to Hardy Warriors. And you can't get it to... Uh, you can't get it to, to the Emperor, but you can definitely look to get it to Secrets. Uh, Yuna's got a problem. Or Specimens. So what Yuna almost needs to do is I think Yuna actually needs to not, uh, she needs to not use Treachery here. And she needs to reveal it so she can cash in her specimens and then use the... And then they'll be available in her supply to deploy his troops. Ariana is just going to hit... Is just going to go for this here. So it's going to be three cards drawn once the uh, the uh, research is done. So it gets a couple of spice. And it will be an additional card draw. So it's going for the spice must flow. That gets trash for a point. And then we'll get the additional research at a research station. Two, four, five, six, seven. Uh, don't know if it's on. No, misses. Misses. That is now valid. Wild Bob, wherever you want it. Probably just take the Emperor here, truthfully, but I guess that's fine. But Ariana misses. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. And it's not good news for Ariana. It's a bad miss. Maybe a bit unlucky. Well, the other couple of cards here. Oh my god, Leah Kynes was just. Leah Kynes was definitely a point. So, any, basically, as long as she finds the kinds, it's a spice must flow, but misses. Beast goes high council. Guild bankers in hand. The only problem with, with Twisted Menta is it can be difficult to actually get spice must flows for Twisted. That is an occasional problem. I don't know how Beast is intending to, to play the rest of this round, truthfully. He might just use all of his action. I have no idea. Hundro's off to Arakeen. Surely he's going to look to take the spice and he's going to cash in and take some spice and prep up for Highliner. And hope that Ariana doesn't find access. I think there's got to be the move, right? You've got tons of money. Does he want to get involved here with this conflict or not? I don't think I would bother. Like, unless you're intending to, like... Uh, I mean, you could put in a couple of troops to try and get the Intrigue. But I certainly wouldn't commit any more than that. But when you've got an action to go... So if I'm Yuna, I would be glimpsing and trying... That's the move, is do not play Treachery. Hold on to it, cashing your specimens. So play Glimpse the Path now. And just play whatever you draw to somewhere. I don't know what it is. I've no idea what this top card is. It's experimentation. Yeah, just go mining. Just go mining and put two troops in your garrison's really heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That was 
That was not a move I was expecting. Holy hell. I guess figures I've got my ring. I got faction excess. You don't. Man. Eight persuasion for Ariana. I honestly don't know what she takes. Duncan taken. Spiritual fervor is a card draw only, unfortunately, at this point. Oh, Ariana's deck is 18 cards. It's way too big. But just looking for spacing access here. Fields has to hit Helena. Oh, it's like 20 cards. It's such a big a deck. Oh my god, Ariana. Beast is like, what is going on here? And honestly, I don't know. Beast has to go you experimenting and bump down and protect his alliance, right? This is not what he wanted. It's making getting to Laxu points really difficult. But surely in the face of this aggression, you, you have to experiment here. I think what I would just do is I would just, yeah, twist it to like experimentation. Uh, it's Imperial Basin. Bump down. Take the spice, take the bump, and then just like Guild Chief Admin something. Uh, Guild Chief Admin goes to cities, right? It does go to cities. So you can even go to Siege with it instead. Um, unfortunately, it's discard to, to, to trash, which, you know. A bit awkward here. Tricky hand. Got train drones as well. Beach just needs to sell up for next round. But I think experimentation and defending via Talaxu is is pretty much mandatory here, right? Yeah, I feel like this has to be right. Might also just go Mentat here. Use it to go Siege. It's fine. I think there's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Don't hate it. So the bump down defense. Man, that was a brave hardy. That was a brave, brave treachery from you know. My god. When you could have just gone secrets and guaranteed yourself the point, decides to go to war with the beast. I do not know if that was a good idea. Unless you've got a way of getting a double bump immediately. Like you'd think that's that has not worked. And what are those bumps now doing? Not a lot. I fear that was a misfire. Especially when there was just easy, just Bene Gesserit, just go in front, go secrets. Or we'll just not play it at all. Very aggressive. Hundro goes back to Siege as it was vacated. Hundro cannot commit here. Oh my god, is Hundro going to throw in for Menta here? He is. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. This is a bit weird for me. So specimens will be cashed in, which means you can put one back with the experimentation. It's kind of what you probably could have done with re revealing that, but it feels like a long way away now. And if, Cari if Ariana does not find Hana access, I think Hundro just wins this match. B says two points officially, but has three in the bank. Yuna does take spiritual just to get hold of some more money. It's fine, I guess. Alyssa Deans can be played whenever to get hold of that uh, Talaxu bump uh, point. So she can bump down to get hold of the faction bump as well, which she does need. He says an action still. She's going to go fold space for some access. He might even go Mentat with this. He might even go Ment out of this. Why not go Dreadnoughting? Yeah, get a Dreadnought, you know. Get some Garrison in. You're going to need it. He does indeed. The only thing I would have considered is maybe there was a world Beast could have found a faction visit to somewhere else so that he'd be able to blackmail with it later. I mean, that's the only thing I might have considered. Just going like Fold Space with that just to... 
just sort of got blackmail banked. Now you've got to make hope that you do find a, a faction bump somewhere. You might not. Here comes the double cross. So unit will lose the Menta. It's not a big disaster. But what are you going to do? I don't know. Hundro, you know, four trips and an entry to take the Mentat down. I don't know. We'll see. Depends what his next hand's going to be. We'll find out if this was worth it. I don't think Yuna will be too upset, really. Would have been nice, though. Having the Mentat in fort position guaranteed means you've got guaranteed uh, last action, which could be useful. So combat will be resolved momentarily. Beast will get his uh, shipping bump. He's got free to buy. I just don't think I'd. I just don't think I'd bother. You know, my only other issue as well is how is Beast actually intending to cash in the shipping? Is he intending to cash in the shipping? I don't even know. <laughs> I guess it's there as as a as an option. I mean, Beast is eyeing up research station definitely, but Beast needs to secure his alliance. Yuna will clearly Yuna is is happy to go for it. She feels she's going to get hold of these two other bumps. So took a dickers. He isn't taken. I don't hate it. I guess nothing to be resolved here. So a couple of coins for Beast. Yuna gets the Intrigue on top, and Hundro will get the Mentat on top of that. And here we go, then. Oh, no. Well, I tell you, if he highlights, he can't use it. Oh! I bet she wins. She wins Secrets now. I guess, technically, Hundro would have got that bump. <laughs> Wild game. Sorry, just getting a drink there quickly. So here we go then. Round seven. It's Arakeen. Red gets the bonus troop. Pretty nice. Ariana does indeed miss Highliner, but so is Hundro. <laughs> I like Court Intrigue, actually. I like going there with the Conspire. Makes sense. This is optional. She might opt to keep it. I think I would still trash out Advanced Weaponry, though. As you feel, he's, I mean, the problem is there's no Mentor. I do not know what her next move is going to be. I have no clue. But opts to keep hold of it, interestingly. Arakeen for Beast. He's got a pretty poor hand. Apologies, everyone. A little bit of interference on the mic there. Yeah, Hundro pulled no way to protect his alliance. A beast pulled no way to protect his alliance. That's why he was digging for factions. He's missed it. Everyone's missed everything. <laughs> Ariana missed Highliner. Hundro's missed Highliner. Beast can't defend his alliance. And, and Yuna can't take it. What is going on this this round? So Hundro has to just go. Oh my god! How do you not just research station and protect Highliner? Oh. I guess he's gonna protect. He's gonna protect research station this way. But it gives Ariana inferior chance to find this. Uh, to find this bump somehow. Man, this is carnage. This. I guess if he's as long as he picks it up, he's good. Yuna's going to toss out the dagger here and see what she finds. No faction access. Yuna has a problem. I think Yuna has to go wealth. 
And I think she has to bump the Fremen and hope she gets there. And I hope Beast can't defend. I think you just gotta go for it. You know you've got the backup bump with the Bene Gesserit, so you, you've got... Oh, man, you treachery there and you don't chase it down. That hurts. I get it. But then maybe you should have just gone to secret. It doesn't really matter. So be it. Ariana's hand is is hideous. Two, four, six. Does she just go spaceports to find Spicer's flow? Man, it's a poor draw. It really is. But there's been no trashing. And sometimes when you don't trash, you get bad draws. You got a 20 card deck. You could draw anything. So, while well, you could argue it's a bit unlucky, when you got a 20 card deck, this sort of thing happens. You've no cohesion. You've got no guarantees on getting decent cards. This is let this be the lesson if anyone takes from watching this video. Like I would typically say for a deck size, I would try to avoid going above fifteen at the max. Try and keep it to like thirteen cards isn't too bad. Man, look at this. Feel she's just got to get some people in here. Yeah, it's the best thing she can do. I tell you what, in Fury, this makes it interesting. There's only one Fremen space remaining. I mean, you just got to get it in and then take, hope to take what you can here, right? What else can you do here? Beast has nine persuasion. Where is Beast off to here with this? Hagger Basin. He's eyeing up tech negotiation. And he wants to buy tech while he does it. That is what's going on here. Oh, he's looking restricted ordnance for plus four swords. That's entirely what he's looking for here. Is restricted ordnance plus four swords. Gets him up to 13. He has to win this conflict, by the way. He's at two, effectively at five. So that is what he's planning for here. Is restricted ordnance. I think taking the extra spice is good. It means you've also got Dreadnought space as well, which I think you need to keep hold of. 100 research stations. He's looking for Highliner. If he finds Highliner, this game could be over. Oh, no. Oh, he's one short persuasion. He's only got eight. But it doesn't matter. He's got the Talaxu point. This match is over. This match is over. Hundred's just got a high line, and it's it's just all over here. He wins. It is game over. So it's all about second place now, basically. Hundro Hundro wins pretty cleanly. So it's a dive for second place now, which is what this is all about here. So Beast the Fit to at five, Ariana at five with one in hand. Yuna's at six of one in hand when she goes here. Yep, she's going to go secrets and look to use um, secrets here. She's also got the Tamaxu point, so Bree's looking not bad for second place here. Unless Beast, I don't know. Beast has got four, nine. He's got 13 swords. It's only 23. And he's going to be forced to use a couple of... Um, and it will enable uh, counter-attack for Hundro. <laughs> it finds the Emperor Pump as well. Oh, it's no good to her, really. So I think Yuna is going to be good for second here. And Breeze will take second place. It puts Breeze at seven points with a game to go. And this game, this book, this uh, this group's been pretty well balanced. Care's going to take a, a lead going into the final set of games. But Breeze can live with second place in this in this one. Win would have been good, but you know, three points. Three points is enough to stay competitive. And it's not been Ariana's game. And Ariana has to use Charm Shares, like right now. Just score that point, call it a day. It was a brutal draw, but again, when you don't 
trash cards. You have a twenty card deck. This is this is the this is what happens. You get miserable, miserable draws. Now, if Beast senses that he's going to lose the fight, he might go uh, Chow Murky instead. He might go Chow Murky instead, but he feels he has to try. And I don't hate that. I don't hate it. So he gets him to 13. He figures with blackmail. The problem is he has to blackmail his own freaking alliance, though. Oh, this is going to be dirty. Oh, my God. If Yuna could find access to Hardy Warriors, he wouldn't even be able to blackmail. She can play Bindu. What's she got left to draw? I have no idea. Has she gone through Diplo? She hasn't. It's in there. I tell you, if she bindos and finds that, it's pretty disgusting. She might go Hardy Warriors, and then Beast can't even blackmail his own alliance. He just loses the point. Hunt. <laughs> okay, I guess Hunter is why just why go for the risky points? Let's just take the guaranteed ones. He is correct here. I thought for a moment he missed it. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's totally good. See ya. So, Hundra wins. Can Yuna find Hardy Warrior access? No. That's a terrible draw. It's a bit unlucky to draw the convincing. You might as well pass here. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And the problem is, now that Hundra's not gotten involved in the combat, all of a sudden there's trouble here. There is serious trouble here. Beast might win this and surpass you now. Beast has got the Spiceman's Flow. He's going to win the combat. He's going to be eight. Oh, you didn't put any troops in. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, why didn't you go Carfag? You got too, you'd have got too money anyways. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I would have gone Carfag. I think that would have been a slightly better better position. Here, just to try and give yourself some more options. I guess she figures she can cash and appropriate just to get hold of the spice. Okay. Oh my god. If she had a cash appropriate and taken the spice, I think she holds... Oh, you could have taken the spice and you beat Beast on tiebreakers if he wins the conflict and the game ends. Oh, because he can only get to eight. Free from Spice that likes two from the conflict. You'd be tied on eight and you'd beat him on the spice tiebreaker and she's missed it. What a shame. Ariana's not played two of shares. It's not been the prettiest game. So Vicious Talents for four. Beast is going to win this conflict. Counterattack will re-parry. But Blackmail will, just, will deal with the decisive blow. And it's going to be enough for Red Rufus to get second place in this game. He's going to get it by a spice. Oh, man. Yuna just forgot to take appropriate. Just missed it, I think. Just totally missed it. What a shame. So, I mean, it's been an interesting game if these if the players like watch this back. Hopefully, I don't think I was just trying to roast. Oh, I wasn't, you know. I know I was playing with, you know, these are players that weren't, like, the most experienced in the world. And I'd like to think that they, they look back at their game and see some of the opportunities they missed and bits and pieces um, and what they perhaps could have done differently in this one. Definitely some chances missed here and there. Hundred got like a pretty clean swing of this. But Beast is going to be able to force his way through with uh, second place. The Spice found. Breeze Town could have just gone appropriate and cash it in and taken the Spice for a point. 
uh, for, for a point on the table, but missed it. Ariana had a rough game, but there was no trashing, unfortunately. Tried to dig away out of trouble, and it just couldn't keep it going. But Care with the win will go top of Group E with a game to play. Oh, well, that turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to after the beginning. <laughs> it was it was looking pretty rough. Like it was a bit it was a bit late in the day. I not focused, so I <laughs> everything. <laughs> That's fair. It was an interesting game to to look back up. Like I think if you guys do watch this back, I think you know, I think there'll be some things you'll look back and think, oh, maybe it could have done that differently or whatever else. Like, it was kind of one of those games. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's fine. Like, I don't expect, like, crazy high, insano stuff every game. Like, every game's different. That's that's all well and cool. But there was definitely a couple of missed spots here and there, which is the way it goes. Yeah. Now, for me, uh, I kept I kept thinking, like, okay, I could get my Swordmaster or I could do this other cool thing. So I was like, I, I think I at one point I was just like, it's too late in the game to get my Swordmaster. I'm going to go try to get points el elsewhere, and it just didn't. I didn't hate that. I didn't hate the high council. Like I, mm -hmm. I got why you did that. Um, mm -hmm. The problem was is you had to like when obviously like round six being uh, the Mentat conflict was, was yes. pretty was pretty brutal. Yes, I really strategy. wanted that Mentat, and and that would have made a, a potentially a big difference for me yeah. that round for sure. Like you, you use all your money at high council round six Mentat conflict. Uh, yeah, no trips. Yeah, was yeah that was that was, that was pretty <laughs> but it was it was a tricky game. I think. The thing I'd say to you is, like, your deck is absolutely enormous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was buying um, too many cards. And, and that's why, obviously, this row, like, this hand was, like, a pretty rough oh, draw. God. But, mm -hmm. like, you're going to draw I didn't notice. At this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was buying too many cards. I, I kept... I was hoping for the stupid Liat Kynes to pop up, and she she didn't, and she didn't, yeah. and... It, yeah, it was. And it's like, it's, so obviously, you had, you had a bit of Fremen dotted around here and there, but yeah, when, yeah, when your yeah. deck's that big, like, you just don't know what you're going to find. And you can't, like, you've got, like, a natural reflexes, which is great for Liat. But, mm -hmm. again, your deck's so big, like, it's, it's really hard to find out. So, um, yep. I think it's the lesson I'd, I'd take from that. Um, but, yeah, mm -hmm. no, it was, it was, it was kind of weird as well, because Beast, like, um, Beast obviously went, had a uh, spy satellite, so went occupation, and then almost immediately afterwards found plans of implants. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty funny truth be told um, <laughs> that would have been like a completely different way I mean I, I totally get it Occupation's a cool card for him as well for Beast but um, you know I, I, I get that but but yeah you know mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it was initially to say if you watch it back I think I think you guys will find it hopefully a little bit educational I didn't try to bear anyone I promise oh, it's all uh, good your best. <laughs> all right. it was a good game though yeah fun game guys <laughs> Fun, fun, fun. Uh, Ariana, appropriate spice. I know. Oh. <laughs> I know. Let's I kept, not... I kept looking at my gold and thinking, "Oh, appropriates in the room. Maybe I should be buying it." But honestly, I don't think there was ever a good spot. To, like, go the one time I wanted to go high council, Beast blocked me. Yes, and that prevented me from getting it. Mm -hmm. Apart yeah, from that, I think it it just would have been wrong to go because I had a clear path to ten without it. Yeah, I mean, like I was obviously eyeing up just like highlighting, bombing it in, which you would have been good for anyways. So, but obviously, just take the save couple of points. You know, yeah, a fair exactly. Bit. When we get to like yeah. surgeon as well, you just bomb this track. You just kind of rock and roll from there, really. So, a couple of alliances mm -hmm. as well. Well, the one I should say, but you know. Uh, also, the fact there was so many combat points early, and the fact that everyone but Beast was getting them as well was also kind of brutal. Well. Yeah, for sure. That was pretty nasty. So, but yeah, no, it was, it was definitely interesting. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully you guys will not totally hate me when you watch this. Back. Nah, it's it's fine. <laughs> Never. Very good. All right. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Yeah, thanks Take all. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Finally covered one of your games. How was it? <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, all. It's all right, my dear. So let's have a look at the group standings after that one. And Kat indeed does find themselves top of the table here with 12 points and the two games won. It's going to feel pretty good about life. Uh, his year, Pookie uh, are still right behind, though. But um, looking for a top two finish, Kat's going to feel like they have got the advantage here. Rufus as well with 10 points and three will also feel like he's definitely in the mix. Uh, he might need a pretty strong result out of his last match, however, depending on what happens with the opposition around him. Uh, further on down, Breeze Town, uh, with 6 from 3, keeps herself in the competition. Um, is going to need probably at least a top 2 finish, you would think, in the last match. Uh, I would think 
any less than that, and it's going to be pretty hard to make qualification. So happy with that. And Carmen, unfortunately, with just the free from free, has Scott work to do, and he's pretty much going to have to win his final match. And, you know, I hope he has luck as well. Well, yeah, it was just you know, a pretty a pretty chill game. This. I kind of knew going into this, it was going to be a pretty relaxed game. So, you know, hence me trying you know, to be a little bit more... You know, not, not to worry about it. And, and trying to use this as much as kind of like... Uh, if there are folks who don't play a whole ton, then maybe this is a game that perhaps you could watch to kind of look at it and say, all right, you know, people are sort of doing moves. Um, and, you know, some of it obviously makes logical sense. Some of it's pretty straightforward. But there are little things you can do here and there. I'm just kind of getting those... Um, a little bit more sort of the fundamentals down here. You know, like with Cartman, the fact his deck was so big, like it just meant he couldn't really do a whole lot towards the end of the game because he had no control over what was going to be happening. Um, you know, uh, and, and to be fair, like Care did what he had to do. It wasn't particularly fancy. It wasn't uh, the most impressive win you'll, you may ever see, I suppose, in a way. That's something to take from it. You know, he had to play what's in front of him and he did and got the win. And, uh, you know, at the end there, could have gone in all guns blazing at Highliner, but saw that it was just an easier two points to be had at uh, Selective Breeding and spotted it and got the win. So it will be happy there. But even little things at the end there as well. Uh, I think Beast may be a bit unlucky with Spy Satellites getting occupation. Makes total sense. And then pulling plans and plans almost immediately afterwards feels kind of bad. That definitely sucks. Uh, maybe Beast could have found a way to be a bit more concerted on one of the combats uh, in the first four rounds. Uh, going four rounds of conflict with victory points and not scoring any of them feels pretty, pretty darn bad. Uh, and Breeze as well, I think, will feel maybe a little bit disappointed they only got the third place. Like, getting pretty much almost, like, soul acts for shipping for almost the whole game. Uh, and a couple of really good cards. Uh, I would have said, yeah, Breeze, like, you know, going smuggling to go shipping, like, is a move that I guess you can do. But when your deck is as good as it is and you've got those factions, like, you want to just be hitting factions super hard. Like, in the end, like, she's got two alliances got the friendships and nearly got the throne alliance as well but maybe she could have had a third maybe could even slow red down by threatening like the emperor or something like that uh you know being more aggressive with the ring uh and just really going at it but you know it's only not the way it turned out so you know it, you can live in hindsight definitely uh but that's what i'd what hope people like take away from this game you know watching it back uh that you know maybe there's some little sort of simple sort of bits and pieces here and there that i sort of talk about and like yeah you know, actually that makes a lot of sense and you try and incorporate those into a game I can feel I've sort of done a bit of a success on that front. Uh, regardless, so that's going to be in for this one. So I do thank you all very much for watching. As per always, of course, we've got more competition coming from the group stages and the rest of the tournament. Um, several groups are coming towards their final games now. So we'll be covering as many as we can because those games tend to be pretty damn wild. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves. See you on the next conflict.